it's me, Carla. I'm a medical student, and now I'm going to take my patient's vital sign. So the very first thing you're gonna do is to gather all your supplies. So all you need is a pulse oximeter for the checking of oxygen saturation of your patient, the thermometer for checking the body temperature of your patient, a stethoscope and a blood pressure cuff for checking the blood pressure of your patient. Lastly, a disinfectant to clean the items that are not disposable. Also, you can wear an appropriate PPE if necessary. Taking vital signs in every patient visit is very vital to the health of the patient. Vital statistics is used to identify the predisposition of disease or disorders that will assist the proper dosing of medication includes the high end. So before proceeding the assessment, make sure to have the client's privacy, introduce yourself to the client, explain the procedure to the client, and also don't forget to wash your hands. Hi, I am Carla, your student nurse for today. So I will be checking your vital signs if it is normal. So may I check your wristband? Okay, thank you. So now we are going to start with the oxygen saturation. So now we are going to use the pulse oximeter to detect her oxygen saturation. So turn on the device and put it on the fingers and make sure to put it on the fingers that is good circulation. Okay, so on the upper portion you can see that the oxygen saturation in the lower portion you can see the pulse rate. So um, the normal Oxygen saturation is 95 to 100%. Okay, so her oxygen saturation is um, 96%. So now I'm going to take my patient's body temperature. So you can take patient's temperature by using orally, tympanically, axillary, or the temporal artery. So now I'm going to use a temporal to check my patient's um, body temperature. The normal body temperature is 97 to 97 to um, 99 degree Fahrenheit. So my my client's body temperature is 97, so which is normal. And when adult fever, when adult fever of um, 100.4 degree Fahrenheit, so her uh, temperature is normal. So now I'm going to detect my patient's rate pulse. So we will grade it from zero to three. So zero is being absent. One one plus is weak. 2 plus is normal and 3 plus is bounding. So we can easily get the pulse in the radial artery. So we are going to use our three fingers to detect it. If pulse is regular, count, 30 so count in 30 seconds, then multiply by 2. And if irregular, you count it in full 1 minute. Okay, so let's start. So her pulse rate is um, 70, which is normal. So now I'm going to check her blood pressure. So. So her blood pressure is normal. 